with the emergence of Kenyon Martin recapturing his days with Jason Kidd and Kerry Kittles and Richard Jefferson on the New Jersey Nets and made a run two straight back-to-back NBA Finals. Arguably getting blown out, but still. Kenyon Martin was a motherfucker. He was a mean bastard. He was a nasty fuck. And on the defensive end, he brought it every single day. Well, now the New York Knickerbockers are really seeing that Kenyon Martin has a little left in his tank. And on the defensive glass, he's fucking nasty. In the lane, he's nasty. He's truly what the Knicks needed. Tyson Changa, MVP, best defensive player in the game, no two ways about it, and in the playoffs plays clutch, monster clutch. Now with Kenyon Martin there, it truly allows Mike Woodson to run his defensive dominated system. Even though Carmelo can score 50 and the Knicks can score a ton of points, make no mistake about it, they are defense first, second, and third, and that's why they're going to make a lot of noise in the Eastern Conference. Right now, number two team in the East is the New York Knickerbockers. Now, can they beat the Miami Heat full when Miami's uh, full strength? No. Can they win a game? Yes. Could they win two? Yes. So again, New York Knickerbockers, playoff run. They will get out of the first round. They can even get out of the second round, and they get blown out by Miami in five or six. But the Knickerbockers here is this year. It's going to be a lot of fun, and it's all because of Kenyon fucking Martin.